Hi scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horse Riding Tales, so a neutral social quest starts in under a minute, which I'm going to try and do, because we're still on the hunt for black pearls to try and get pets when they come out. So, okay, so a cart carrying horse medicine has dropped its crates everywhere. Okay, so this is the first time I've had this particular one. Um, we've got to get over 23,000 for this. There's a crate over there, so we're going to get that. I know that I do a lot of this on foot because I find it easier to run on foot than I do to like run around on the horse but maybe on another one I'll try going around on the horse because I know a couple of you have said it is much faster. It's just that I seem to run into everything and I think because it runs into everything it kind of cancels out my progress a little bit, I don't know. Um, my control is not good when it comes to the horses. Obviously you guys have done it much better. Um, so. We've got to get 75 crates, which is the same, but obviously the total's a little bit lower because I think one of the totals when we first got the social quest was like 60,000, which we didn't get anywhere near. I don't think we got halfway to that. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe this will be a little bit easier. We might um, have a chance at this because I think a couple of you have mentioned um, that you have actually managed to get some from the social quest now, some of the black pearls. So people must be getting to the actual total they need to. I'm not seeing any boxes over here. Okay, there's some over here. They seem to be a little... I don't know whether there's maybe just less of them around them. There seems to be the apples and mushrooms. But at least we are making some progress with this. We do have a way to go. <laughs> I hope we can get to 75. We normally do, as long as we start at the very, very beginning. We normally do seem to get enough to actually keep going. So... I still need to do a lot of my um, competitions at the minute. For the main quests, I haven't done those, so I need to go and do them. Lavender's kind of just been chilling in the stable, haven't done a huge amount of his, no crates over here. So, I haven't, I've been saving up my apples again, rather than using them, because I just find that I'd rather have a little bit of a stockpile of apples in case I need them, or if we're really lucky and get to level 25, and maybe if we're really, really lucky and we catch a fantasy horse, I'd love to level up a fantasy horse. Um, but it probably would take me a while to level the fantasy horse up then to be able to use it. Um, so that is kind of what I'm planning, but we did have to use a lot of our apples the last time um, on Lavender when we got into those dressage competitions. We just didn't get the progress, you know, that we needed, because those dressage competitions are tough. Um, you know, I haven't found those the easiest. Because hitting that little target board, I know a couple of you have said this, like, to keep the dart on the target board, sometimes you have to tap. And especially with the pee off, it's like tap, 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 really, really, really fast. So it can be quite difficult. And then some of the slower movements, um, you don't need to tap as much, but it's kind of like, you kind of have to at least let the dart hit the target board a few times to keep the movement going. Um, Right, I'm going to try bringing Fire Lily out, okay? The, it's going to be an attempt. We're going to try seeing if we can do this faster, because I am not think I don't think we're getting as many boxes as quickly as we normally would, but be prepared for me to run into absolutely everything. So, I'm just going to use this fence. If I like run along the fence, I'll be fine. Okay, there's nothing over there. I'm going to look before I run anywhere, because... I, I just, I crash into things, so it's much easier to do this. Okay, I don't think there's any over here, but we'll have a quick look. Because I have this feeling that maybe there are some boxes over here, because we haven't seen that many behind us. So let's just go over to the far side here and see if there's anything. Not seeing any boxes, though. No. No boxes. Okay, I think we'll just go back over the river, because we're not seeing what we were looking for at all. Nope. Okay, well, we'll just have to keep looking. My battery ran out. I can't believe this, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and craft the Blue Fantasy leg wraps here, um, because at the minute I don't have these and I want to put these on Lavender for whenever we go to do these uh, new competitions. I'm also going just make some more bedding and some more horseshoes for her because she doesn't have any right now. So let's go and give her these because we need to replace these red leg wraps and we'll give her those shoes while we're at it. Right, you need your bed cleaned. Your bed is not tidy enough yet. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Right. Now to give you this new 
blue side layer graphs. Okay, so there's blue fantasy layer graphs. I wish there was a saddle that went with this. I wish there was. Because I like this set. It's like blue and silver and I think it's really nice. Okay, so there's another social quest starting soon. Um, but before that, I've been doing a little bit of mining. So what I thought I would do is now make the uh, blue fantasy bridle for lavender as well. So that we get a plus 35 uh, bonus when we go into competitions here. So we're going to go ahead and give that to Lavender, um, which means now she should have all of the uh, highest bonus stats now. So it'll make it a little bit easier whenever we go to tech her in to do the competitions. Blue Rose, I'm going to go ahead and give Blue Rose um, a saddle here. And I'm just going to bring one of my bridles. It doesn't really matter which bridle I bring, because I'm just going to bring Blue Rose out here to do the social quest with. So I really cannot ride around to save my life in this. I don't know why. I struggle really badly with the, these controls when I'm on the horse, which is why I don't typically use this for the social quest, but I'm going to try and do the entire social quest on horseback <laughs> for the first time, <laughs> rather than just running around and lifting the apples and the mushrooms and the crates. Um, that's what we're going to do. So prepare for me to run into a lot of things. So a horse has collapsed from hunger. Okay, so it's 26,000. Okay, so it's a bit more than the last time. Didn't get to do the last one, obviously, because my battery ran out, and I was just, I was, I was absolutely gutted because I was like, this quest, I feel like this time, I can actually finish this quest because um, the total wasn't that high. See, I'm going all over the place. <laughs> oh my goodness, Blue Rose, come on, help me. There we go. Okay, we got that apple basket. No, no, we don't want to run into the cross country competition. We're not doing that. Okay, let's just ignore the fact that I'm going to run into every single tree everywhere. Do you know what? I probably just need to ride around a lot and make myself get better at this. Because I was just like, it's easier to walk. I'll just walk, even though it takes longer. And I probably don't get as many apples. Although I still, I still have the issue of like sometimes not being close enough to the apple baskets. But I have that issue on whenever I run around on foot anyway, so... I don't run through them. Most of the time. The apple baskets are a little bit more plentiful than the crates were. Maybe that's also why the total was lower, because the crates were, I don't know, the crates looked like there was less of them around than with the apple ga uh, ba I was about to say gaskets, apple baskets and the, um, the, uh, mushrooms. Just a guess, though. Could be. I don't know. We're purely spec speculating right now. A couple of you guys had really interesting ideas for horse colours that they could add. Because obviously... You know, this is a magical fantasy kind of game, you know. So we could have anything, pretty much, we wanted, I guess. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so this is the entire progress so far. Okay. We really... Okay, no. Lurus, move your, move, your, move your booty. It's in the way. Okay. Alright, no. Let's get this. Okay. We are... I think... <laughs> I don't know whether I've got more baskets on foot or on the horse. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blue Rose. I'm really sorry. She looks so sad. I know she needs, like, brushed and groomed and everything. It's just really expensive at this level to, like, give them shoes and clean their bed because it's, like, 12... Um, hay for every single piece of bedding. So, and then I think like seven or eight shoes per foot. So, I'd really prefer if I could just buy better horseshoes that would just do one per foot or something like that. I don't know. I guess it depends if it costs more to craft it or not. If it was about the same. Alright, I'm just gonna like kind of walk and trot because I feel like I can. I can kind of manage that. It's when I gallop that I tend to just run into things, so I feel like maybe if we just stay at a nice steady pace, we'll have a little nice little trail ride around here, pick these apples up, not like crash into too many things, hopefully. I'm going to say this and get stuck on a building in a second. I can see this happening. Okay, there's three baskets in a row. That's perfect. That is literally perfect. There we go. I think this is still like one of my favorite fantasy coat colors. I think it's really, really nice. It still was. Um, oh, okay. No, let's get off that. 
country. This is, this is kind of like... Just... Right, no, no. This is not where I wanted you to go. <laughs> We're trying to get this apple basket, Blue Rose. No, not the tree. Not the tree. Okay, thank you. And, and, no. Okay, the fence is my fault. Right. Okay. This is this is going okay, I, I think. Okay, that's another tree. Let's let's keep going. I think I'm I've got slightly better. Slightly. Not great, but just slightly better at this. I find this very, very difficult to do. It's so much easier to do to play this on, on the Steam, on the PC, because the controls are just the keyboard. Whereas this is much harder on a phone. Right. I don't oh wait, there is one over here. I mean, like, if we're talking about, I don't know, I was just thinking about this the other day. Oh, no, I did not mean to go into the cross country. Let's not do that. I was thinking about the fact that whenever I mine, which I have to do a lot of, obviously. I think we all kind of have to do a lot of mining. Um, I kind of wish that you could get to a point where you could make a pickaxe that would maybe, like, like one to two hits would be enough to mine the entire resource. You know, I wouldn't even care if it cost a lot of resources to make that pickaxe. It's just that I feel like I would like that because it'd be quicker to then mine a resource. But I don't know if we'll get that or not. Maybe maybe that might be something we'll get eventually. Because like I was I know that the higher level pickaxes, they give you more resources um, per hit compared to like level one pickaxes. But it's a case of it still takes the amount of time to stand there and mine the resource. Anyway, come on, Blue Rose, we can we can get this basket. We can do it. We have like four minutes left. I'm I'm getting scared that I'm not going to finish this. But I I said that we would do this on horseback, so we will do it on horseback, <laughs> whether we feel or not. Um, so we're just going to stick at it. Okay, there's somewhere in the back of this house. We can go get those. Right, come on. Go in here. That's it. Okay, this is when I said I was going to get stuck on a house at some point. This is going to be exactly what's happening. I'm kind of stressed now because it's like there's four minutes left, which still doesn't seem like a decent amount of time, but I only have, I think, just over 50 of these. I've only sent, I've only given um, 32 to the horse. So, maybe we should go give. Right, oh, wait, there's another one down there. There's one behind us. Right, we'll just, we'll just go down and get this one. And we missed. <laughs> okay. There we are. Right, let, let's turn it over here. Come on. No, 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 no. Get off the tree. Get off the tree. That's it. Okay. Right, well, there's plenty down the hill here. If we can get some more lucky ones. We haven't had too many lucky ones today. Right. Right, come on. Lift the basket. I know you're tired. We've lifted a lot of baskets. You haven't been asked to do this much in a while. I am aware. Right. There we go. Let's bring you around here. And we'll get any more and we'll I think we'll just catch these ones in while we're at it. Okay, so we need about sixteen more, I think. Okay, there's some over to our right. I'll just check there's no more left. Nope. Okay. Alright. No, you don't run into Okay. <laughs> right, there's plenty over here. So this okay, we got lucky. Okay. Right, that was three. And then another another two. I don't think we got lucky on either of the last ones now, okay. Right. We have two minutes. As long as there's plenty around here and we don't run past too many of them <laughs> repeatedly, I'm sure it'll be fine. This is Oh, this is difficult, right? <laughs> Why did it have to be between the trees? Okay. There's another one over here. This is... I don't know. I don't feel like I do this any faster on the horse than I do on foot. Um, because I run into so many things. Uh, oh, okay. Let's not do that. No, no, no. Stop. Please, Blue Rose. No. Okay. I am absolutely horrific at these horse controls. This is, there's no doubt of this. Right, let's get out of that fence and continue. We still haven't got the amount that we need. Okay, there's another one. Okay, right. Right, okay, I think that was the minimum of what we needed. Now we're just gonna go and get a couple extra ones. No, back up. 
That's it. Right, now I get that one. Okay, there's another one right there. I want to leave myself enough time to actually cash them in because that would be a disaster if we didn't catch them in. Okay, got lucky with those ones. Stop some extra ones. Okay, and in here, let's get this. Okay, there we go. Right. Is there any more? Right, we'll cash those in. Okay, so we've got 75. We'll just go and get any extra ones to help with the overall total. In case we might get there. Hoping people are going to cash them in soon because we're only on 15,000 at the moment. Okay, there's like a bunch of them here. I really want to get down and just run, but I'm like, no, I said I would do this all on horseback. <laughs> so we're sticking to it. We're sticking to it. Um, we're going to get all the last of these baskets while we're on horseback. Uh, okay, missed that. Missed that, right. Grab that. Right, grab this. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the stable now because I don't wanna, like, not manage to cash this in. Okay, so it's just 17,000. There's only a couple of seconds left. Oh, I don't think we're gonna manage to do this. No. We're short about 8,000, unfortunately. Okay, so the event is over. Let's have a look and see. Uh, 85. Okay. Event field. Okay, so I'm going to do like a little mini stable tour of my horses because one of you asked if I would do that. So this is Violet. This was the first horse that I ever got in the game and I have kept her ever since because I'm very fond of her. She initially was the horse that I kept leveling up until I realized, I think from some of you guys telling me that um, it would take more apples for me to get her to a higher level than let's say a rare horse. So she's a white common um, horse and she's very cute. And then we have Snowdrop. She is a majestic white and she's an uncommon. This is a coat that I really, really like. I find it really, really cute. And then we have Daisy. And Daisy was the first rare that I ever caught. She's an Appaloosa. And uh, that one I leveled up uh, to do a lot of competitions with. And then we have Foxglove. Foxglove is literally one of my favorite coats in the game. I love this Doppelgrey coat. Um, this is also a rare. And uh, I just adore that coat so much. It's literally my favorite. I love the little black legs and then it comes up into the dapple grey and then the blue eyes. I think she's just super cute. And then obviously we have Blue Rose here that we're using for the um, so social quest. Uh, she's a blue fantasy and she was the first epic that I ever caught. Um, I leveled them up for quite a while and then eventually I got uh, the horse you probably most of you are most familiar with is just Lavender. So this is Lavender, an epic unicorn. Currently my highest level, the one that I have put the most apples into, and uh, probably will do until I finally get a fantasy horse, um, which hopefully then should have more stamina at the same level uh, once I level that fantasy up, if I get one, um, <laughs> being the key thing at level 25, I hope. Um, so the horse that I then got after that um, was another one of the epics. And that was Fire Lily. So Fire Lily's over here. Now Fire Lily, I've only leveled up to level 12. I love this coat, but because I got Lavender so far in um, progress, I didn't really want to then have to go and level up another epic, even though I love this coat. So um, those are all of the horses that I currently have in the game. And um, obviously I can't unlock any of the fantasy orbs to catch any fantasy horses just yet. So I have to wait until level 25. Now we're gonna take Lavender here and clean Lavender up. Because Lavender is going to go in to do one of the competitions. So, alright, we'll fix your bed and give you some more horseshoes. Okay, now you need your saddle as well. You need the checkered saddle because that's the highest uh, bonus, I think, one I have at the minute. Okay, there's the checkered saddle. Right, we're going to take her in here to try and do the main quest competitions that we need to do. So, complete all tiers in the Rainbow Main Quest in part one with at least one star. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. That's going to cost us just over 2,000. And 44 fences. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to mention something. Some of you guys were asking me about how I do this. Um, sometimes I have a horse that doesn't have enough stamina to complete the event, but um, basically if your horse can go most of the way through the competition, what you can intentionally do is fail some of the fences. Now this is only useful if you're only trying to get one star. Don't try to do this if you're trying to get three stars. It won't work. You have to get a perfect run for that. So 
there I intentionally failed the fence, right? So what you can also do is just run straight through the fence. Okay, so I'm just going to let Lavender run right through this. I'm not going to click the gauge at all. So that means it doesn't use any of the energy. So that is something that you can do if your horse is just, just off finishing the event more than anything else. Now, obviously make sure your horse is happy. Also make sure, you know, it, it's full happiness that you've got the best stat gear on it as well. That way you can guarantee that you'll at least get a star and don't hit too many fences. Miss Foxhall, how long have you known about the fantasy events? Violet Rain, I understand you want answers. I realize that so much that has happened to you recently has given you more questions than you can keep in your head, but I'm afraid to say that I just can't answer them. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so now we're going to compete in Rainbow Main Question Part 2. Okay, that's the dressage for this. Okay, dressage we are going to have to probably level Lavender up for. Because dressage is a little bit harder, <laughs> definitely, than the jumping is. It's a little bit more tricky and a bit more expensive too, so we're going to have to work on that. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, if you're doing the competitions, um, just the show jumping, make sure your horse is fully happy. Make sure it's got the best static gear that it can have for your current level. That is very important. And, uh, you know, make sure it's stables clean, it's got shoes, it's washed. You know, those are the things that make it happy. Um, and then once you have a fully happy horse, then you can take it in to do those competitions and it get at least one star. If you're just trying to do the main quest, get some apples or something like that. Um, I was lucky there and got two stars when I was doing that because that, I didn't feel too many fences because she, Lavender, just had about an, almost enough energy to do all of that. Um, it's just sometimes I probably could finish the, the competition without hitting any of the fences and using the energy, but sometimes I'm like, I can't see the last bit of the bar. So I get a little bit nervous about it, so I'm like, I'm just gonna not do that. So, but yeah, that is how I do that. Hopefully that helps any of you guys, because I know some of you were wondering. We're just gonna give Fire Lily a little bit of a wash here, because Fire Lily, you need a wash. You're quite dirty at the moment. I've just put some of my older tack on Fire Lily, because I think it looks okay. I think the red, they're orange and yellow. But yeah, I hope that helps some of you guys out. Anyway, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day, and bye-bye!